Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's considered a major step in moving forward with the implementation of medicinal marijuana. And after months of review, the rules and regulations have been approved, but we're not done just yet. So it'll be a matter of transmitting it to the governor. Uh, the governor can take as much time, I guess, as, as his staff needs. And then when their review is finished, they transmit it to the legislative secretary. Uh, who happens to be uh, the same person who was one of the proponents. Earlier this week, the AG completed her review but requested a revised economic impact statement from Public Health. Director James Gillen says this revised version was needed because the cost to operate the program is now estimated to exceed more than half a million dollars. Once the, the state of Arizona uh, informed us that they were not going to be able to assist us in things like uh, doing the online uh, certifications for applicants uh, and doing some of the monitoring for us, uh, we then had to revise uh, our statement. Guam's rules were modeled after the Arizona Department of Health Services. He says along with Health Director Will Humble no longer with the department, Arizona has decided not to help because they are dealing with their own set of issues, including many lawsuits. As for the new estimated cost, it could range as high as $700,000. What we did was attempt to analyze what the cost was going to be to us. As far as the financial impact, the cost for registration fees for qualified patients, caregivers, dispensaries, and cultivation sites for an estimated target population of 5,000 people is $483,000 for registration fees. Staffing four full-time and two part-time employees are estimated at over $100,000. Gillen says another bureau within some division would have to be created to operate the program. Meanwhile, total estimated maximum cost for operations for the first year is at $147,000. Costs associated with establishing a dispensary or cultivation site were not factored into the estimate. And while he expects the anticipated fees as set through the rules would generate enough revenue to pay for a lot of the costs, he also believes an initial appropriation may be needed as well. In the meantime, Public Health will do one more quick review of the rules and transmit it to the governor's office by Monday. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.